Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. This Forgotten Friends Friday is going to be a little different in that it's a bit of retreat prep as well. But we're going to be talking journal covers and we are going to be going through my Forgotten Friends fabric, if you will, for journal covers. Um, I want to take a bunch. This was the impotence for it all. Um, I, I want to take a bunch to do at my retreat to get them all cut out, ready to go, maybe even sewn. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. Let's say, let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Twyla, Sue, Sherry, Susan, and Carol. Thank you so much for watching and for, for your kind comments. Okay, journal uh, journal covers. Well, I found a lovely, oh dear, everything just fell down. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hang on one second. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I got to find a better place for my high and hugs book. That's all there is to that. Keeps falling over. Okay, Purple Daisy Crafter. I found a journal cover with her and um, I, it came and so I'm excited. I've, I just discovered her shop, so of course wanted to share it with you guys. Um, look at this cute package. Look at that fun ribbon. Yep, Jody, Jody Thompson, Purple Daisy Crafter. So there's a little thank you card, that's so nice. And, oh, here it is, yes. I'll be honest, I sort of forgot what it was I ordered, but I saw this blue and yellow. And, you know, I've got um, more left from, oh gosh, what was it called? Truly Blue, I think, or something. Uh, it was a Rach and Bella kit. kit. Um, so she's got a little spine here. She's got a little... Uh, eyelet and then here's the inside fabric flip and some ruffles isn't this absolutely darling I'm so excited thank you so much Jody and then this little this little bit of there's a cluster in here there's blue and yellow laces and some buttons I'm just gonna be set oh and this is some like little extra fun cards to play with gosh remember when computers had those things that <laughs> yeah so weird to think isn't it things got outdated pretty quickly thank you jody this is perfect and it's beautiful and i love it and then she sent something else that i don't know what it is let's see what's in here oh boy Oh boy, I think I see some Kathy Holden possibly. Okay, so she sent a little card. Oh. Oh, she found my channel two years ago through Pinterest. Oh. Oh, Jody. Yes. I was her name was familiar and I'm like why is her name so familiar? Well, she's a patron on Patreon. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know how much you love Kathy Holden fabric, so I made this journal cover for you. Oh, I'm so excited. Jody, thank you. Gosh, that was not necessary at all, but very much appreciated. Okay, this is kind of cool stuff. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's like a wiry, wiry fuzzy stuff. Be fun for on the top of a, of a tag, huh? So, of course, be keep uh, keep all the packaging. Got to do that. Okay, let's see her Kathy Holden one. <gasps> Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that is awesome. Jody, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this has probably a, a one inch spine, this one. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, and she's done some of these little sewn patches. Love those. And a ruffle and a fabric flip. What a cute way. I need to point this out because I hadn't thought of this. Sometimes your fabric's so cute you don't want to cover it up, you know? She just put some um, lace down one side and then uh, trim across the top and you still get to see all of your of your fabric. She's got a little pocket in it. You guys go over and visit Jody, please at Purple Daisy Crafter. She just thank you, Jody. I'm just I'm embarrassed that I wasn't remembering why I knew your name and thank you for being a patron as well on my Patreon. Bless your heart. So I have a couple of really cool journal covers to start out with, don't I? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get busy as well because I decided, you guys, it really, it was just, I had so much fabric stuck away and I've, I've cleared out a lot, actually. But I have so much more and I just need to make journal covers out of it. You know, I need to use it. Yep, my my word for 2024 is de-hoard. So I'm just going to, even if I make a bunch and I end up selling them on my Etsy and not making journals, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I'll make journals out of them. I always seem to find something that goes with something. So let's just start digging through. My process here is I'm going to match up fabrics with you know, outside, inside. Then um, if we have time at the end, I'll cut a couple out. And just to show you how, I mean, it's, it's basically, I use my rotary cutter and there's not a whole lot to it. But, um, but when we go, when I go on my friend Diane's retreat, it's a quilt there's, you know, quilters there too. And so there's t big tables set up that you can stand at and cut your fabric. And so I just want to have it ready to cut a bunch of fabric. Now, this is a lovely old piece of bark cloth. And look at the nice edge there. Well, I think that would make a really fun cover for sure. So that's going to be outside. And then I grabbed as well from the same drawer, this, which is, it's not really burlap, or I mean canvas. It's not really canvas, but kind of feels like it. And I think it'd be a nice heavy cover. So, um, so yeah, those two are going to go together. And this could possibly go with other things. Okay, in my drawer, I had, these are, pretty big pieces of Tim Holtz fabric. And so what if I made a journal cover with this on the outside, this on the inside, and then this on the outside, this on the inside. Plenty here for more than one. So I'm going to put that together. Okay, these I bought a long time ago. I don't even know. Susan Wingett fabric. I don't know if this one is too, probably. Yeah. So these two really go together too. And I know I bought this thinking, oh, wouldn't that be pretty journal covers? Well, yes, it would, but you got to make them. <laughs> so I'm going to put those together and those are going to be another one. Well, then I found this spark cloth-ish yeah, it is bark cloth, but it feels newer than the 50s bark cloth. So I don't know if it's a reproduction or exactly what. But I think it would make a lovely outside cover of a journal. So we'll keep that. I don't know what exactly will go on the inside. Maybe that will reveal itself at some point. Actually, hang on. I bought a bunch of this when we were at the, you guys have heard me talk about J.L. Wright's 
trading post in towns in Montana. And it's le it's like ledger. But that goes pretty well, doesn't it? I mean, it's I think that could I think that could be the inside of that. This is going to be the inside of a few other things too though. So we're going to keep that together. I actually have over here this is just a big um you know, heavy plastic bag. And that that's the type that I take to my retreats because then I can unpack what I'm working on and fold up the bag and stuff it somewhere so it's not taking up room. So I'm going to fill this with the fabric that I'm taking. But I'm going to leave these two out because I think that other one's going to go with other things. Maybe I won't put them in. Maybe I'll just lay them here on put them on my floor for a minute okay because like look at this that could be a great inside this is Tim Holtz fabric again and I've been cutting this up to make those little fun pockets you know that I made um it I guess search Gail Augustinelli Tim Holtz pockets and you'll see that video but with all these little things but I don't want to cut the whole thing up before I make a journal cover out of it so I'm going to put that with that and that and then while we're on the Tim Holtz wagon um I've got these two fabrics as well that I just love now do we just want these to go together they'd good they'd be great together wouldn't they yeah I think I'll put these with this I'm gonna come across a string or two with this process I think but um but yeah I I love these and so I just tend to hoard them and that's just silly I bought them to make something from so those are going to be one too okay then um okay I'm just gonna keep that over there for now I've got this pile that was on the dresser where I keep my fabric and it was there because I want to make journal covers out of it and just haven't so I've got this and this, I think this would be a cool outside cover with this on the inside. Don't you think? Yeah, I think that would be cool. So I'm going to put, put those two together. These were rolled up. This, again, this was from J.L. Wright's. I get in so much trouble in that store. But these, I think, were her remnants, and she just rolled them up into into a little roll but I'm going to try and unroll them for a minute okay so these two are going to go together those would be a good size maybe if we have time I'm going to set those there so if we have time to make one or something okay then I also got this green that I really like too and then I showed you guys the journal cover that I was going to do for the um, the second uh, circus journal. And this was the other piece that I got with the animals. The other one has elephants and tigers and looks more circus-ish. This one's more just little sweet. There's a sloth, a hedgehog. But I think this would be cute on the inside. So we're going to put those two together. All right, so then I have this. I think I might have bought this from um, Vintage Polka Dot Shop, I'm thinking. I don't know, but I'm wondering with that and these, remember these? I got these at the last retreat. Look at how well those go together. And I have three of these. So I'm going to put those with those and hopefully figure out how to do it. I'm not quite sure how to do, how to make that all work. But, 
Okay, so then from upstairs, <laughs> the, the downstairs and the upstairs. Okay, well, where is that one? Let me show you first what I found. I was like, oh my gosh, Gail. So this was upstairs. Look, it's circus tents. So now do I have to make three? I probably do, don't I? <laughs> but isn't that cute? So that on the outside, and then maybe this crazy print on the inside. So I'm going to set that right over here. And that, that's on top because we, you know, we might make something from that right away. Okay. And then these are little clown pieces and stuff. So I'm going to put them with the remnants of um, fabric that's in my little tub here that I'm working out of for my circus journals. Okay, so there's that. Then, kind of down the road, I'd like to do a little kid journal, something little kid-ish, because I've got a lot of Dick and Jane books. I have like this many, I have a lot of Dick and Jane journal cards made, stuff like that, so I was thinking Maybe this on the outside and this on the inside would be cute. So put those two together. Put those in the pile. All right. What else do we have over here? You say to yourself. Oh, my gosh. And I have all those, too. Should look at those, too. Okay. Let's look at these. We've got, I've got this, which is a perfect inside, right? Because it's fairly neutral and everything. And then I have this cute little bunny fabric, I believe, back in the Happy Days era. Happy Days. That, too. Happy Mail Days that somebody sent me this because it had bunnies on it. And um, isn't it cute? So I think that and that together. But I'm also thinking this could be another cute kid journal because it's got the three bears and, you know, they're doing various yard chores <laughs> and such. Mama bears putting baby bear to bed stuff. So anyway, I think, I think it goes well with this too because of the green, right? So I'm going to put those two with this one. Yeah. Never mind. I have 11 or something kits prepared for this, for this, um, Retreat. Yeah, I think I need to be doing all this too. Okay, so I found this. I think we're done with this one for now. Okay, so I found this piece of bark cloth and I'm just wondering. Yeah, it's just about the right size. Oh, look, it's doubled. It's, it's sewn. That's interesting. Okay, well, I could seam rip that. Because I probably want like this, this is what I'm thinking. But is this big enough? I'll just have a little bit to fold over on the edges, but that's okay. So I just need to rip that out. So I'm going to set that aside as a little project. Okay. I've got more over there, but before we do that, I want to look at this. Look at this. So this was up in my, in my um, stash of fabrics upstairs. And this is all bark cloth. This one, I love it, but its colors are different than, well, I could use it for a rose journal, couldn't I? Yes, yes, you could, Gail. And that sort of canvassy fabric could go on the inside. See, these were curtains because they're all hemmed and everything. So that would be kind of fun to flip up and be a pocket because it's already got a hem as I think about it. Okay, okay. I've talked myself into that one. Let's see what else is in here. I don't, some of them are just little small pieces. Like this is another doubled one. So that's another project. I'll put that with the other one. We'll do some seam ripping. 
And then I've just got some little pieces in here, but um, but I thought there might be some that were big enough, like this one, for a journal cover. Well, yeah, I think there would be enough. This one would be a fun fall one, wouldn't it? These are all left from when I was making those purses. You know, those purses that I put on my Etsy not too long ago. Yeah. And speaking of that, you guys, I have not, I have not listed the rings. I have not listed my mixed media canvases. I just have not had time. It's just, you know, I can barely get my videos done. I'm so busy traveling around for the grandkids. This is a cool one. Oh gorgeous but I don't know oh it is big enough that way but then the front mm, yeah no I'm not that's I'm not gonna make it work if it works easily fine but we we don't have to do all these let's see all these are small 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 except for this one Okay, this one's gorgeous. It's really got an oriental flair to it, and it's got shiny gold on it. But I don't have an oriental journal on my radar, so I'm not going to keep that out. Okay, well, we went through that bag, didn't we? I thought there might be some stuff that I might end up sharing. Maybe not at this retreat. But um, maybe at, let's see, when will it be? The next one would be November, where this one gal who does recycled fabric, and she makes quilts out of them. And so I was thinking there might be some stuff she would like. Okay, these are remnants from my quilter friends, I think, is what this one is. Okay, that's just about, it's just about good. It's plenty long enough. Mm-hmm, okay, that would be a nice one. And I think our one, let me let, grab it. I think this, would this fabric go on the inside? It could, I think we could do better. So this one doesn't really have an inside yet, but it's it's about the right size. Then look at this. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Look at that. To put on the front of a journal. But once again, the colors are a little different than I normally do, that sort of thing. So I don't have a plan for that right away, so I'm going to stick it back. Okay, these are all little quilted squares from my friends. Um, not, I mean, they they'd be they'd be great size for a fabric flip or something. I mean, that one's perfect. Put that on there. Yep, that'd be great. So that's another day. <laughs> this one, it's got little kittens on it. That'd be cute in a kid's book. This is like feed sack fabric. Gorgeous. This is a cut up. I think it's a cut up. Um, oh, it's a pillowcase. I don't understand why it's put together like that. Hmm. Don't know what I'm going to do with that one. This little quilted square. This is gorgeous. Look how cute that is. Again, that one though, that's only eight. So it would be a small journal, which I'm going to just stick with my 12 by nines just to, you know, to get some done. There's another piece. Yeah, I love, I love when they <laughs> go through their stuff. Oh, it's so much fun. Okay, but I, anyway, I thought it'd be fun for you guys to see what I can have sitting around. Oh, these are super bright. Look at this, how bright it is. 
So stuff and things can be made with those, but they're not big enough for a journal cover. Neither are those. This, however, let's check this out. Okay, I'll set those up there. They're gonna go back in the thing. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's definitely long enough that way and this way. It is, it's not quite as wide as I'd make it, but it's pretty darn good. Usually when I'm cutting a fabric, I make it 14 by 11, and that gives me enough to fold around if I'm doing like the um, 9 by 12 envelopes as the base of the journal cover. This one, this one, let's see if we can find something to go with that. Okay, what else do we have here? Just a few little things, but let's, ooh, 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 that's pretty. Okay, and it's plenty big enough. Okay, again, though, we need to find something to back it. Okay, well, I feel like we're making some progress. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Again, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but something, something someday. Look at this one. Oof, that's pretty. Very fallish. Oh, speaking of fall, I've got a whole pile here of cool fall things. Mmm. Well, those are all yummy couple of finished squares. I guess they they make them and sometimes they end up with extras. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. I wonder if I could attempt to sew some of these squares together or something. But lots of good, lots of good stuff there. I think I'm going to put this in my fall tub, which is over there. Just so, because otherwise I'm going to forget I have it. So this is a refile, kind of. Okay. And then what else do we have here? We've got this. This looks like vintage fabrics of some sort. It's plenty long that way. This way It's awfully close. Okay. We won't... We're going to buzz through this. I'm not going to, you know, hum and haw too much. Okay, these are all strips, kind of. One could sew those together, though, and make a really cute journal cover. One could. Hmm. I might put those over here in the projects pile. Okay, then there's this, which is oh, so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. And with silky, oh, I just think it's beautiful. I don't, don't know what to put. Don't know what to put behind it, but I'm going to keep it out just in case there's, we come across something. We're almost, well, we're not quite done going through. <laughs> almost, yeah, she says. Okay, so these are all going to go back in here. Take those back up. I just have stuff in my in my guest bedroom. I didn't know what was in here, so I decided to grab it. There's some not quite done quilt pieces. They're like okay. Let me just go like oh okay um like this. And then I can uh, hold them over and show you. But like that's sewn on there and it's three layers. There's like a muslin, a silky something, but like that one's all done. That one's all done. Just baste it around the edge. That one's all done. That one's done. Aren't they pretty? 
So how, let's, let's play with this one. It doesn't have any pins in it. <laughs> Some of them have pins, but see, there's all different kinds of trims and stuff. I think I might have found these in an estate sale. That one's, woof, that's got busy ruffles happening. Yeah. So somebody was using up scraps and making these big squares and going to turn it into a little quilt or something, but there's really, there's six, there's nine things. There's not really enough for a quilt. Not the kind of quilt I like to wrap up in anyway. So, but if we were to make a journal cover out of that, would we, how, how big is it? Mm, just barely again, just barely, but would we just go like this? Would we go like that? But then we'd be missing this part, but uh, that's really pretty. Isn't it? Okay. Well, that's something to think about. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is a towel. These are towels with some embroidered and buttons on them. Those are pretty. This one's stained. I like it better like that. Hmm. And then I have this, which is... Must have been a pillow, I'm guessing. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. It would make a cool cover. It's fuzzy. Okay, not going to do anything with that sack as of right now. Oh, but wait, there's more. Actually, this. Let's keep that out for a second. Okay. Those three little sacks are going back. Um, what I'm thinking about this is I've got some, you know, coffee dyed stuff. Oh, that's just scraps. Coffee dyed stuff. And I don't know, maybe how wide is this? Not wide enough that way. go that way though this could be on the front down in the corner this could be on the inside maybe I have other coffee dyed fabric too I'm gonna keep those all together I'm not gonna worry about it right now because I have plenty to work with I think so, but I'm going to keep those together. Okay, so continuing on my pile, which is getting smaller, by the way. Never fear. We're getting there. Um, there's this spark cloth, and I just love that. I think that'd be super fun for a fall journal, wouldn't it? Waverly. Waverly's been making fabric for a long time. So this one, I think, could go... I'm going to put it with the... Um, so the, the canvasy one here. I'll show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think it could go. It could have this on the inside, as could this one. Okay, so those two. Then I found I still had a big piece of leather. So I think I'd like to make a leather outside. And then look at this for the inside. Oh, it's not big enough. Oh, sad pants. Well, I could sew it together or something. Oh, wouldn't that have been pretty though? Maybe I can sew it together. I'm gonna keep those together. I'm not gonna take them to the retreat, but I'll put them together in my sewing room. Okay, so I'll put that with the sewing room stuff. I didn't realize that that was a cut piece. Then there's this piece, which is gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's got like a shiny nub, nub to it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, 
as far as something for the inside, I think that canvas would work there too. So let's put those together. This I thought was super pretty too. Guaranteed to be vat colors and pre-shrunk. Well, that's good to know. And this is a really good size, perfect size. It's all right, 11 inches. Could probably make two out of this. Now, there's a problem about the inside. However, I found this. Wouldn't that be cute? So, I think I might, might do at least one, if not two, of those. Okay, so there's that. I'm ambitious, aren't I? I'm not going to get half of this done. <laughs> oh. Then I have this. This is, this is a new fabric. But it's so pretty. I love this. And I thought, I need to use this. I need to, there's not, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, there's not that much of it left. How wide is that? Mm. Yeah. And this would go good with that, um, whatever this is, this sort of stuff. So I don't know how many covers I have in this, but I'll have to prioritize all of these, all of these with that background. Okay, so these, this, oh, and this could go with that background too. Oh boy, I really am going to have to decide which ones I want to do, aren't I? Okay. On that, I don't know, something else might go with that. Okay, so there's those. I have two, two stacks so far. Okay, then, then I just wanted to look at this stuff. Oh, this coffee stain is fun. That might go with this. That could go with that on the inside. Okay, cool. Put those two together. Um, and then I just have all this red, 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 and red. I don't know. I must have been on a red buying spree or something. Um, it's too much. It's just too much, people. It's too much. Nope. Nope. I don't want the red with any of those. Okay. So that goes back to the back to the sewing pile. All right, then see a lot of that sort of thing was insides of the purses that I was making. My friend Deb gave me this. It's a weird fabric. It's I don't even know what do you call it. It's like it's like to make a shopping bag out of, but I think it'd be cool. On the inside of a journal too but I didn't see anything as I went through that oh, maybe this maybe that okay cool never mind all right and then I have um, my friend Catherine gave me this big quilt piece and it's all fallen apart which I, I love that grunginess so this could be cut up into um, into covers too, but I don't think I'm going to do it at this retreat. So I'm going to put this, these, and this back in the sewing pile. All right, so now I wanted to take a peek at this. So I bought this Riley Blake, and it's called Sew Journal. So Riley Br Blake is the designer. And then the, whatever you call it, the collection is called Sew Journal. And I've, I've used some of it. I made a, I made a um, one cover, but I wanted to match these up and decide what was going to be what. Let me put it over here so it doesn't make the make things go weird okay so some of it 
like that's too old fashioned -y for me. I'm, I want it to be a little more neutral than that. Like, oh, I love the postage stamp though. Love that one. And love this one. So let's, let's do one with those. And originally I thought, well, I'll just take this stack. Well, then I got to thinking, well, I might as well go through some of my other fabric. Lilies of the field. There's an old sewing machine. Again, I love the postage stamps. There's that one. This one's just got little, like a graph paper. This one's like stitches. And this one has like the pattern pieces. So, okay, so I, I, I need to look at this whole thing here. Yeah. Let's, let's match these up. I think I, I would use those. Use this one. Anyway, let's see, how was this? I'm so bad at this folding of fabric. People do such a good job of it at the sewing place, and I just struggle. Okay. So, I feel like I would kind of like this and this. And I would like this and this, which leaves those two. And they're both very much sewing. So we could decide which is outside, which is inside. Probably I'd go outside with this. Okay. And these are fat quarters is what these are. Just if you're not as much of a sewer, uh, kind of like me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not sure about these two. They're pretty plain, but what do we have here? That's, that's yellow as well, but this is the corset one. I'm not as big a fan of that one. I'm going to put it aside. Um, let's look at the green ones. Maybe there's something we can do there. Okay, so love this right off the bat. That's nice. I really like this too. I think this would go with this nicely. Okay. So that one's yet to yet to be figured out. And this one is a blue that I have already used, so that's why Oh, look, here's another red, but, and here's just some writing. That's cool. Black. There's a lot of black and white, a whole bunch of them. It's like all of these are black and white. So let's figure that out. Okay, well, these, here's, here's the stamp one that I'm a fan of. Love that. That one's okay. This is writing, which is cool. I might go with that one. Kind of like this with this. Okay. There's another stitching. There's the corset. Going in the course I'm probably going to take those to give away or I'll save them for my retreat and give them away or something but this one this one is cool how about this and this okay oh and here's a here's the white one like that do we have I kind of like the contrast of Black on one side, white on the other. Okay, I think, I think I'm set on these ones. I'm just cross stacking them, so I'll know. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, those two are just a little plain. This is all the um, pattern pieces. 
really, I do like the writing a lot. That could be kind of fun. Let's see. And what's this one? This one's like, oh, it's got writing and, hmm. I'm looking and seeing what, what would seem like it would be a good outside. I feel like this one's a better outside than, I think I'm going to go this one, this one, and this one. Mm, I can't decide between these two. Maybe this one. Okay. Which leaves me these. Oh, and I have this writing too. And I really liked the writing. What if we did the writing with these? I, and for all of these, I'm envisioning a journal topper. I think that's, that's the way we would go with that. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. This is really pretty. I wonder if I have something else that could go on the inside of that. Don't like that. Meh. Okay, so these are yet to be determined. But I feel like I made progress in getting these all together. I'm going to put this with it because I know someone at the retreat will say, whose fabric is that? Okie dokie. So, I don't think I've totally filled up my bag, but I did warn my friends that I was bringing an extra bag this time. Okay, how are we for time? We've got about 15 minutes. So let's talk about bases. Let's see if we can get some fabric cut. Okay, so what I have is got these crunchy bags I love. Also, these from Amazon are great for a base. And then these are my basic 12 by 12 by 9. So, um, envelopes. And you've seen me make those before, but that's where we're going to go, I think. And then I've got a couple of more bags. Let's Let's do one of these bags just to cut it and show you kind of, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's do it anyway. So this is about 15 by about 10 and a half. So what I would do is cut off the edges. Um, I don't know. I might I might have needed my big cutter for this. If it doesn't work, we won't do it. But I'm just going to cut the edge here because we'll get two covers out of this one envelope. Okay. Oh, that worked out okay. Um, okay, so I want this to be to be 12 this way. Once I get this cut down, I should be able to cut off the edges. Okay. Okay. You could leave that, you could keep this, and I have done that before and made tags out of this. And they're all crunchy and wonderful, so I'll probably keep that. All right, so then I'm going to see how it's melded together there. I'm just going to take that off. Just get it right to that edge there. Try for as straight as possible. Okay, now that's open. And then, so now we can go this way and go to nine. And for these, I generally like to either use light paper 
um, I, I like to use light paper to collage on them and then it keeps the crunch or they'd be fine with the fabric too. But that's what I do. I just cut off and make it the right size. Now these, these ones, I'm pretty sure I can get four out of because this is, oh, not quite, darn. Yep, not quite. But I'll have a lot left over for tags. So that's great too. Um, so I'll get two out of each of these too. Okay, but for, so that's, I mean, that's how I do that. And to prepare the envelopes, all I do is push down the flap, you know, glue down the flap. Um, like these, oh yeah, these have the strip, so easy peasy, just do that. And if you uh, search Gail Augustinelli journal covers, um, a, a million videos will come up. Not, I, that's an exaggeration, thousands. <laughs> um, or I have a journal cover series playlist. So, so those two are ready. Let's do this circus one because if I get this ready, I'll be ready to rock and roll for another one. So um, I've got a nice piece of this. So what I'm going to do is just go 14, go 14 by 11. And so I just take my little, I don't know, whatever you call this. You guys who are so no more than me, but let's just put that up like that. It's hard on my desk because I have stuff up there, my my shelves and stuff. So I have a little little issue trying to do anything that's bigger than a foot, but we'll just try it anyway. So I'm just going to go as straight as I feel like I can because I can't see up there. But when I'm at my retreat, I'll have a whole table with the grid and it'll be easy peasy. So then I just run this up there and I'm super bad at it. Is this not my new one? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stand up so I can apply some pressure. The other thing is if I do this at the retreat, my friends have better tools than me. I don't know. I think this might be my old one. Where is my new one? There we go. Now I'm starting to cut it. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard, though. So I think this is my old rotary cutter that wasn't working well. I don't know what I did with my new one. But we'll get it. It just shouldn't be this hard is all. <laughs> Might as well chew through it, hadn't I? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so now I'm just going to scoot it down so I can line it back up with my mat again. Like I say, this is not ideal, which is why I want to do it at my retreat. Because if I got them all cut even, didn't even make them, but got them all cut, that'd be awesome. So, well, we'll see. See where we get to. Just sort of gnaws its way through. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, I still have this big piece, but I'm going to put it with my circus stuff because honestly, I didn't even know I had this up in my my fabric that I have in the guest room. I in our guest room, the uh, drawers of the dressers are full of my fabric. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this this way we're going to go 11. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, that's why I do have, 
you know, some things um, that are, um, what do I want to say, divided by subject matter. Like I have a project box for the circus. I have a farm one. I have a bug one. You know that. Um, what else do I have? A sewing one. Um, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Sorry, guys. I wasn't careful about what I was grabbing, obviously. Did not grab the new one. I hope you're getting the idea, though. 11 by 14. 14 tall. I mean, 14 uh, long ways. And 11 tall. Because eventually... Oh, my gosh. That is just ridiculous. Um... You know you're gonna you're gonna wrap your envelopes. Is what I want to say. Well, I'm making the case for taking these to my retreat, aren't I? Like this is not even. It's like almost not even dented. So, yeah, that's got to be my old one. I have a new one that's working well but anyway okay so 11 I mean 14 by 11 right so then when I put it on this envelope I've got I've got enough to wrap it around on all the sides which you'll see me do if you check out my check out my other cover videos. Okay, well, I am going to put myself and you out of our misery and not try and use this again. <laughs> and so, <laughs> sheesh. Um, but, well, um, as soon as I turn off the camera, I'll cut the other one and we'll have this ready to go for another, another circus journal. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. Thanks for helping me go through everything. I need to put these over in the, in the take them with to make them. Yeah, I've got two stacks about yay high of fabric. So yeah, I think it'll be good. So thanks for helping me prepare once again. Have a grateful day, everyone. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.